Uh oh, hold on. I saw the Beyonce movie last night, and uh, it was great. I, uh, I I didn't expect. I thought it was gonna be a documentary. My girl snuck. She said, "We getting tickets to this, and we going to see this." And she been saying it for weeks. We going to see it, and it finally came. And I was like, "Oh shit, we about to go." I was. I really didn't want to, but then when I got there, bro, and I saw uh, I saw how seriously Beyonce takes the craft of music. It's hard not to get inspired by that. It's hard not to. She's so meticulous with the stage. She's so meticulous when it comes to her performers and who she gets and, like, what she's inspired by. Uh, I remember Kobe one time said that, he's like, man, kids don't listen to their parents. They don't want to hear nothing we got to say. I tell my my, my girl to, to work. I think he was telling G, who I named my uh, Dalmatian after, uh, Gianna. But I think he told Gianna, I think he was like, hey, you got to listen to me. Uh, he's like, man, your, your girls don't ever listen. You got to work harder, blah, blah, blah. So he took her backstage to a uh, – to a to a concert at Beyonce, the, I'm sorry, he took I've done been, I've been smoking. <laughs> he took his daughter be, at, backstage at a Beyonce concert, and Beyonce said, "Oh, good to see you, Kobe." He said, "Hey, you did a great job," and she said, "Hey, I get it from you." And then he was like, uh, "See, look at me. Can you like look? I I work hard. You you can you listen to Beyonce if you want to listen to me?" And I say that to say, as a person that studies Kobe, his speeches. His uh, his, his how he moved, how his lectures, his work ethic. I could see how much she really did study Kobe, cause she's a monster in there. She's in there, no makeup, hoodie on, just grinding that shit out. One a.m., two a.m., three a.m. This ain't right. That ain't right. This ain't good. This ain't good. And then you, then they show you, the they did a breakdown of how huge the stage was, uh, and 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 how difficult it is to create that i found out last night that for her tour there's three stages they had to buy three stages because it takes so long to put up and take down i'm in, she needs the, the the stage to already be in the next city getting set up while i'm in this city and then have another one getting set up in the next city and that people are on cranes hanging from the ceiling and, and hanging from shit just to try to make this shit work like like they're on cranes high dangling like, risking their life to make this. And it's a lot of women in construction working. And she broke down how inspired she was by seeing the women in construction working to build this massive stage. You have to understand something. She's in NFL stadiums performing by herself, no opener. And it's sold out. The NFL teams, when they play on Sunday in these cities, don't sell out. Some of them do. Dallas Cowboys, sure. Raiders, I mean, there's some, but I'm saying, even if they are, do you know how much went into the promotion of that game? That was this team versus this team. You got these two cities invested. You got billions of dollars promoting it. She's doing the same numbers by herself. Another takeaway I took away from the Beyonce movie was that she said she takes uh, two hours to come down after a show. And as a comedian, and, I, and I've been on stage, and you come off stage, and you're like, okay, and it takes a minute to kind of, like, get back to real life. Normally about, I don't know, five, ten minutes. And a lot of times, you get off stage, comedians are roasting you immediately, so it's hard to even come down. But she was saying it takes her hours, because she goes on stage. The movie was, mind you, three hours. I was kind of like, what the fuck? Because, you know, I'm not a stan. I was just there because my girl, was, you know, she needed to see that, and I wanted to be inspired by it. But I say that to say she was on stage for a long time. She was on stage for a long three hours. So she said it takes hours for her to come down from that. And the show probably starts at 7 or 8, so she probably ain't getting to bed 3, 4 o'clock in the morning on these dates. And you got another show. I'm just inspired by the work ethic. On top of that, you got your entire family with you. They got Jay-Z there, the kids there. They all traveling. They had like 30 buses of people traveling with them. Like I just realized how insane that show is. Imagine a circus, right, that's on the road. You know, they got the elephants and they got the tigers and then they got the, the little, you know, whatever they got in them circuses. And they all travel. Imagine how many people that is traveling. Her shit is way bigger than a circus. You see what I'm saying? So then you have to imagine how many people are actually, like, it was 30 buses. That means there's several people in these buses. They had the light man, the, uh, 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 the stage guys. There's, it's huge. It ain't a normal, it's not like a music tour. And that's what, mind you, Beyonce fans looking just like, duh, nigga. But as a nigga who I'm not a stan, I don't know nothing about it. When the album come through the pipeline, I'll listen to it. My girl won't stop playing it. I, I know literally every Beyonce song off the album. 
Because when they're doing it, because she plays it so damn much. But it, I'm realizing how big of a deal this shit is. I, I felt Taylor Swift come through my town. I'm in Nashville. So that was her Super Bowl when Taylor Swift came here. And I could feel the energy of uh, of, of, of the love of the superstardom of that level. We haven't seen that. You know, I didn't grow up under Michael Jackson. Like I seen, I'm 34. I seen Michael Jackson. I mean, my mom had cassette tapes and shit. You know what I mean? You see Michael Jackson, you. But I, I don't. I didn't get to feel it. I wasn't a grown man and get to understand how insane he was. I remember Lil Bow Wow was lit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I remember Lil Romeo. Who else was that? I mean, In Sync. I remember that. I remember Eminem. I remember Nelly. You know what I mean? But that was all for a little bit. And that was one of the most impactful. 50 Cent was huge. I think I don't know if I said 50 Cent, but 50 Cent was huge. Nelly was huge. NSYNC, huge. But she's been this huge for a long time. And she still looks good, and she done popped out three kids. As a nigga that's 34, and I worked at the fire department, I got on the fire department and immediately gained about 30 pounds because we just eat good. We just eat good. It's cheap. People feed us for free. We just eat at the fire department. We always cook. And if you ever go to the fire department around five or six, you're going to smell some good food because we just cooks and we eats, bro. And I realized then, oh, shit, I'm grown. I can't eat like no damn kid no more, bro, because you're going to be fat and washed and looking crazy, high blood pressure, diabetes. You already know the drill. And I'm at that age now where, nigga, I think the prostate exam coming up in about six years. It's, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm on that type of time. You young niggas can have fun eating your bacon and shit, but I'm on the type of time to where it gets scary going to the doctor. If you know you've been bullshitting, you know, I've been drinking, I've been smoking crack, I've been stabbing people, I've been jumping out of planes. If you've been doing all this shit and you go to that doctor, you know that doctor finna hit you with some, you got a... Like how the mechanic hit you. You say, hey, I need my oil fixed. He says, you need a new back tire nigga and you need a whole new trunk and it's a dead body in there and you're going to jail for it it's like they always throwing extra shit on you i say all that to say beyonce is slim looking great in great shape and she's 42 admittedly i ain't trying to you know what i mean beautiful looks better than young niggas not that 42 ain't young i'm just saying that's a discipline you see what I'm saying? Because I realized, oh, I got to stop eating. Like, I got to start walking more. I'm like, oh, shit, this girl. This, yeah, this, this. So the discipline level of Beyonce is crazy. Um, the, Of course, the music is incredible, but incredible, but it's much bigger than music. It ain't just music with her. So the movie was dope. Uh, that was just a side rant. I saw that last night, and it just got me inspired and got me working hard. And, you know, I bought the damn this stream when I came home last night. Nigga, it came 12 o'clock last night. I'm going to say, fuck it, we streaming in 12 in the, you know what I mean? I'm 12 in the night because uh, Beyonce, uh, Beyonce got me inspired, but anyway, man, that was um, that was really dope. That was, I would definitely say check that out. If you're a woman, you gotta check it out. If you're gay, you gotta check it out. I'm not, I mean, if you're a dude, you you should check it out. If you like greatness, if you can just appreciate greatness, but she ain't really talking to dudes. You know what I mean? So I don't know. She ain't really talking to you. But if you can go appreciate some greatness, you should go on and uh, you know what I mean. If you just appreciate hard work, greatness dedication a nigga that's taking something serious and she takes it so serious that it makes me want to take what i do serious more serious i'm like oh hell if she's standing up in the middle of the night or if she's being meticulous about that why ain't i being more t meticulous about that or what she did was make you make me feel like i ain't as crazy as i thought for being so anal about some shit i'm like see that's what it takes actually you know what i mean i'm not bullshit you know maybe i am annoying to niggas that be lazy but i'm like i'm not being extra that's what it takes and i'm looking at her like that's exactly that's what i thought so you know what I mean? So anyway, shout out to Beyonce. Shout out to Jay-Z, man. Um, that was an incredible movie. Go check that out for sure. Um, oh, we got to find some, some, some street